Ayo, hey, what is poppin' poppers? In today's video, I'll be talking about my predictions for this year's Funkon. So let's get right into it. So if you didn't know, this year Funko is not creating Pops for San Diego Comic Con, but rather their own convention that they call Funkon. Essentially, it's just like all the past virtual conventions they've had this year. They will have a bunch of exclusives and they'll put them up on their website. There already was a few leaks for this year's Funkon, and if you want to see those, I recommend going to my other video. But in today's video, I'll be talking about some pops that I want to see at Funkon this year. But before I talk about my predictions for this year's Funkon, let's take a look at what Funko teased on their Instagram. This is what they posted and it reads all will be revealed. And the caption reads coming soon what do you hope to see at hashtag funcon. And in this photo they actually teased a little bit of one of the pops that they're going to be releasing for this year's summer convention. There was a lot of guesses as to what this was in the comment section but the most common one was Venom. But the thing is this pop was already leaked and if you don't want to see what this pop looks like then skip ahead in the video. But this is the pop right here. This is Gang Orca from My Hero Academia. It's a pretty cool pop. Nothing too crazy with it. Honestly I think they did a fantastic job with this pop. But yeah that's the teaser they put out today. I'm sure they're going to be posting a lot more teasers throughout the week and if you want to stay up to date with those make sure you follow them on Instagram. But now moving on to what I would want to see at this year's FunCon. Now I more than definitely do not have a long list. There's only a few things that I want to see at this year's summer convention. Starting off with my first hope here and that is none other than Rick and Morty. I think this would be a great opportunity for Funko to start releasing some pops from season 5 for Rick and Morty. And in specific the two characters I want to see most from season 5 of Rick and Morty would have to be Mr. Nimbus or Plantina. I think these two characters would translate extremely well into Funko Pops. I'm also hoping for a One Piece Funko Pop at this convention. A lot of people have been speculating that the Zoro Pop that got announced earlier this year but recently got cancelled is going to be exclusive to Funkon. And honestly, I can see it. I think that would be really awesome if they released the Zoro Pop as a convention exclusive. But at the same time, I kind of hope it isn't because it's a really cool pop. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to sell out really fast and it's going to be a crazy price in the aftermarket. And I really don't want to pay that. But yeah, I'm honestly hoping for a One Piece Funko Pop at this year's summer convention. And also another character I would love to see turned into a Funko Pop is the pupa from Solar Opposites. This past year, they released all these Solar Opposites fungal pops, including Terry, Corvo, Yamulak, and Jesse. But there's one main character from the show that's missing, and that is the pupa. A lot of people are wondering why the pupa wasn't turned into a fungal pop, and I can definitely agree with them. So I really hope they're releasing the pupa as a fungal pop for this year's FunCon. But yeah, that's pretty much everything that I want to see for this year's summer convention from Funko. Let me know in the comments down below what fungal pops you want to see made by Funko for this year's summer convention. I would love to know. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new here and uh yeah i'll catch you next time peace